In this lecture, we're going to talk a little bit about register, or the difference between informal and formal writing. So what is register? Well, register is the level of formality in spoken and written language. Every language has this idea of register. In spoken language in English, for example, if you have a conversation with friends, you use very informal vocabulary, you may use slang, you may use idioms. But then if you have a conversation with your teachers, you probably don't speak the same way to your teacher that you would with a friend. And in an academic presentation, it's probably going to be the most formal type of spoken language. You probably don't use any slang, no idioms, and you use tons of academic vocabulary. The same goes for written language, and the written language is probably more important right now for you in this class. Uh, so we'll focus on this. So as an example, if you write a text message to a friend, you'll use very informal language. You use abbreviations like BRB or LOL. You might even use symbols instead of actually writing out words. And you'll probably use slang and idioms. But if you write an email to a parent, your language probably becomes a little bit more cleaned up. You won't use slang and idioms, or you won't write the same things that you would write to your friends that you would write to your parents. Um, and an email to a boss or a teacher, I hope you don't write the same way that you write a text message to your boss or teacher. Could get you into big trouble someday. And the last most formal type of writing is academic essay writing, which is the most formal and the most important for you in college. So I want to talk about a few of the basics of academic language. Uh, the first thing is you want to use academic vocabulary. A lot of the words that you use in everyday conversation are not appropriate for academic writing. So you want to focus on academic vocabulary. Another thing is you want to use active voice rather than passive voice. Also, you want to try to avoid using contractions. So for example, if you have the word can't, you should use the uncontracted form and just write it out as cannot. Uh, you also don't want to use first and second person pronouns, I and you. Don't use those words in your academic writing. You also want to avoid using slang or idioms. And you don't want to use phrases that are overused, such as as we all know in the world or nowadays. There are many, many other features of academic language that you should know, and you can actually read about those in the handout basic writing rules. So this is an example of a very informal sentence. Usually you won't get hurt if you don't fool around. You can see that the word you is used. Uh, won't is contracted. There's a contraction. Uh, get hurt is pretty informal conversational language. And fool around is a kind of idiomatic phrase. So if we apply some of the rules of formal academic writing to this sentence, we might come up with this sentence. In most cases, an individual will not be injured if he or she is careful. So the meaning is pretty similar to the original, but the language is more formal. Uh, you has been replaced with individual since we're talking about everybody, people in general. Um, instead of saying won't, we use the uncontracted form will not. Instead of saying get hurt, we say be injured. And it, instead of saying you don't fool around, which is very informal as we said, we say if he or she is careful, which is a lot more formal. So this is a very basic introduction to the idea of register. So you should now take a look at the basic writing rules handout and get a more detailed information.
explanation of it. 